What is happening and welcome to another four-wheel drive talk episode and friends Well, we're going to be talking about it, it. It's funny because this video that you're going to be watching here Talking about one of those one of those tools that I think is absolutely essential this video as you'll find out here in a moment has been in the I'm pausing because I'm I'm trying to consider whether I can get away with saying in the works for the last two years and you'll find that's a little complicated statement here in a moment. But anyway, I've wanted to do this video, I think it's a little bit more appropriate, for the last two years. And you'll find out here in a moment why that didn't take place. Anyway, I'm up at uh, Santiago Canyon Creek Road up here getting into a little wilderness so I can get away from my urban bubble and talk to you a little bit about this particular tool. Now, when you're out overlanding, off-roading, camping, or just out in the wilderness with your off-road rig, there are a few tools that are absolutely essential for just being a responsible overlander, off-roader, whatever you want to call. A shovel is an absolute must. A ax is another item, and of course, a good knife. Boom, that worked out well. Uh, <laughs> but back in 2021, I came across a tool and I almost dropped it there. I came across a tool at Overland West that was, it blew my mind off. And the reason why it blew my mind off is when you look at in your Overland rig, your number one commodity is space. And I came across a tool there I'd never seen before. And the irony with this is it's used by the uh, US Army which, as many of you know, I spent eight years, the forestry department. Uh, now, of course, I don't have any experience with forestry, but it doesn't surprise me. When you see what this tool is, this thing is really, you know, guys, this is a really cool spot. I'm at the, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, Santiago's uh, Creek, and it's a cool spot here, but man, there are a ton of horse flies, and I did not bring any bug spray, so they are chomping up me. If I stay still, they take advantage of that and they jump on me and they they uh, start chomping away here So if I'm moving around well now, you know, but anyways <laughs> That one almost went in my mouth that's um, 2021 came across this tool and blew my mind off and the fun part with this is I took their their uh, marketing they had this little postcard uh, uh, marketing brochure I took it with the intent of featuring well picking one up and then also featuring it in our best of 2021 well i get home i'm looking for the the uh the information on this i can't find it for life me i could not remember the name of the darn company and i did some searches and finally gave up and so 2022 when i went back to overland west one of the first companies i went to or actually I went to the spot where they were the previous years, hoping that they would still be there. And I absolutely lucked out, shared with the gentleman what transpired and we had a little bit of a chuckle. So anyways, folks, this is going back to the whole purpose of this video here. In all reality, I was supposed to be filming a best recovery gear uh, video this uh, today, but I decided I'm gonna create a video solely around this and then I'm going to have, because this is the, the item that I'm gonna share with you here, absolutely deserves a front row seat in your recovery gear, just as it is with mine, because as you're gonna find out here, not only does this take the place of two other items, in my bag, but this thing also has eight, or I'm sorry, there's eight items that this thing has built in. It's like an eight and one, something like that. And so you're going back to space, being your number one commodity. Here's an item that one single item is already taking the place of two items that I have in my rig already. And then it, yet it has four other tools on top of that. Come on, as you'll find out here in a moment, this is a absolute essential piece of recovery gear. Now, before we get into all the good stuff here, look, we put these videos together to help you stay informed, help you get out there, enjoy overlanding, off-roading, with being much more informed. Now, of course, if you find some value with this video, friend, if you could do me a favor, crush that like button down below. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friend, pull up a seat in. Let's go. All 
All right, friends, and what we're talking about here is made right here in the United States from the Forest Tool Company. And what you're looking at here is the Max Multipurpose Tool. Now, actually, this is technically their signature edition. Uh, and what makes it signature edition is you have this absolutely beautiful leather carrying case that goes along with this. Now, normally it will come with, well, actually, it still comes with this Cordura. Ah, gotcha. Ugh. <laughs> it comes with a Cordura uh, carrying case as well. So you actually have two cases. You have the, the leather and then you have the Cordura, which is what the, uh, the kit normally comes with. So you spend a little extra money to get this beautiful uh, leather uh, carrying case with this. And this thing is a work of art. Now, I'm going to crack this open here so you can see. So you can actually see what happens here. There's a, a little a leather strap that holds the ax into the back of this. I don't know how, whether I'm going to keep it attached all in one, because as you can see, there's a nice handle here and I can just kind of stuff these all in there and it just makes it a little bit more storable. But this is, I mean, this is really thick quality leather that this thing is made from here. Now there are three leather straps here. Now these are actual leather straps. You know, it's funny, when I first saw this, I thought perhaps, because you know, I've seen some bags, leather bags where it's for show and then they just have these like magnetic uh, snaps behind it. Nope, these is, this is actual leather straps here. Okay, so you pop this up. And so here we go, guys. So you have your ax. And incidentally, in the back of the ax, you have a hitting surface on here as well that's a little bit wider than many typical axes. You have your shovel, and incidentally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show all of these items being added on here once I get them all out of the, the case here. Okay, we have our, you have a rake, you have a hoe, uh, and they, they, I think, seem to call, they call this a combination McLeod tool as well. And I may be incorrect about that, but anyways, and that has, actually the hoe has a little bit of a sharp edge to that. All right, then we have our Matic blade. Then we have a pick. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna set things down. We have another, oh. This is a board pick. And then it comes with a bunch of pins. And then last but not least, we have a little lever here that is used for when you attach the shovel and the hoe. Now first is first, let's address the ax. And again, we have this incredible, beautiful leather sheath that goes over the sharp edge. And I know this is not sharp. Now, it's, by the way, guys, this is a first impression, although technically this is not a first impression. Uh, my first impression of this was back in uh, 2021, but I was excited that this came in, that I wanted to be able to share with you guys an amazing tool. So anyways, going back to this here, you have a, this is a 34 inch composite uh, poly glass handle, and it feels really good. One of the things I like about this handle is, is the length of this. You can really get, okay. I don't know why I'm picking up. It's only gonna fall down. But as you can see with this, with this long handle on this, you can really get a good, you can get a good swing with that. And it feels really, really fantastic. Now this is a 3.5, pound Hudson Bay axe head. And as you notice, or as I pointed out in the, a moment ago, you have a striking head on the back of this thing as well. Now, one thing I will point out here, this, the head of this here, it's not sharp. So I'm gonna get this uh, sharpened uh, in a bit. And you'll notice again, there's this odd piece up here. Now this is where we're going to, this is how all the other pieces get attached to this itself. But again, wow, this thing feels really, jeez, for a axe head that, that is not sharp it's doing a nice job here
That feels really good. Not the bugs that are biting the back of my leg, but that feels really good. Now, let's find my pieces before I lose these here. Okay, I think the first that we're going to put on, and I guess I probably should have read the directions before I left the house, but where's all the fun in that? So I'm gonna go off of memory, and if I'm incorrect, I will put a note on here or somebody can let me know in the comments below. Now, because of this is a sharp service, when you're putting some of these other tools on, probably not a bad idea to attach the uh, sheath onto the axe itself. And that'll keep things from accidentally cutting into you as you're digging along or doing whatever that you're, you have going on. Okay, so we're gonna plop this into here. And then you'll notice there is a pinhole on the back of the shovel head. And so that is going to be, we're gonna grab one of our handy dandy pins here. And we're gonna plop that in there. And it's as simple as that. So that feels now. Obviously, you feel there's a little additional weight because you do have the the three and a half pound axe head with that, but that works in your favor. It's just more more weight going into the earth. The only time you, I guess you really notice it is when you're actually picking up. And that blade is, is a bit sharp as well, which is nice. But this feels really fantastic. So again, if this is good for the military, man, this is gonna be an absolute rock star. So as you can see here, just holding this, this what I have right now, replaces the shovel and the ax that I have in my rig, all in one piece here. Now we're going to shift gears. And let's put on, now these picks here, honestly, I'm not a big pick user here, so I'm not quite sure the difference between the two here, but these are gonna be great for uh, breaking up uh, hard dirt, rocks. Um, yeah, this thing's gonna be pretty, oh yeah, I don't wanna jam it in too hard because I wanna make sure I can get that out, but, if you have hard work or hard ground that needs to be broken up, and this is where I suspect a lot of the forest department really finds a lot of value in this. When they're out there creating trails, uh, fire trails or breaks or this or that, creating trails, and that's where some of these other tools really come in in creating trails and so forth. Uh, if you're stuck uh, and you need to be able to, or you're creating a fire pit, um, and this is the, one of the things that really excites me about this tool here also. When you look at, uh, when you look at a lot of the fire bands, a lot of the drought, that, especially on the West Coast, uh, the few places that you can have a fire, uh, you have to do it responsibly. And I think this is where a lot of people really fall short. They don't know the proper, I don't know how many times I've gone into a campground and you see people having a fire and they have a fire pit that they put onto the ground and there's really not much space around there where, you, where you've cleared out some of the debris that could catch on fire. That rake there is gonna be absolutely essential for that. But anyway, so you have these couple picks on here that are, let me get this one out here. Okay, now I'm really itching to put on this rake. So this rake here, the rake and the hoe device here, this is gonna be super fantastic. Okay, so I think you plop that into here and, and you just tighten away. Okay, so this is absolutely fantastic. I know I just got back from uh, uh, the North Rim and when clearing out our campsite, this would have been fantastic to have here. Now, one thing that I'm noticing right here, this thing is going into the ground quite effortlessly, and I suspect that has a lot to do with that three and a half pound weight from the ax head here. This is working incredible. 
So I can see how this is going to be really a great tool for forestry creating trails or fire breaks or for the camper getting out there and creating a proper spot without being a pain in the butt around where you want to have a fire. Getting rid of all that loose brush out of here. This thing is pretty stinking cool. Now, I'm going to go on a hunch and I'm being a wise ass about this to swap this around to the hoe. We just undo our little clamp, spin it around. And same thing, we're going to put our little clamp in there. Cinch it down. So this becomes more of a compression fit in there, which is pretty cool. <sighs> yeah. And there you go. You have a hoe. Now, <sighs> McLeod tool. I think that's just... Uh, the one part I'm not quite sure about, they, they call this a McLeod combination tool. Uh, yeah, it's a hoe and a rake, so I think McLeod is just the tool itself, um, or the combination of the hoe and the rake. Again, if I'm incorrect, I'll put it down the, uh, or somebody will correct me down below in the, uh, in the comments. But, as you can see here, it allows us to go back and forth between all these tools really effortlessly, and... This right here is going to be great for if you have heavier brush uh, that you're trying to, heavier brush or roots uh, that you're trying to break up into the earth. That's what this beast is going to be for right here. And this is the Matic tool. All right, friend, that is it for this video. Now, of course, the Max tool combination here is you're going to be seeing a lot more of this coming up in some uh, upcoming videos and so forth here. The Force Tool Company really did a good job with the construction, the ingenuity, and just the modularity that this tool has. Again, we're talking about eight tools in one here. And when you look at the cost of a good shovel, when you look at a cost of a good ax, I mean, you could easily be getting upwards of 200 bucks right there alone. The, uh, the Max combination tool uh, not the signature one. The signature one they charge four hundred dollars because you are getting that that beautiful leather uh, bag with it. But the uh, just the Max combination tool by itself is normally I think it's like two hundred seventy nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, so when you factor in the cost of a good shovel and a good axe, nearly 200 bucks, and this is 279, um, the, and you're getting additional six items with it. So going back to what excited me about this when I saw this in 2021, this thing is an absolute work of art. Now, of course, you'll be seeing this in a lot more upcoming videos. Uh, we have that recovery video coming up, and this is going to be front and center because there's so many tools here, not only from getting your vehicle unstuck, but just recovery in general when you're out camping. There's just so much value with this particular kit. Well, it's that time of the video, friends, where, look, if you found some value with this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below, crush the hell out of it. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you part of the family, last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video just like this one. Hit that bell so therefore you're notified every single time that we come out with a new video. And yes, I'm making sure I'm not going to whack myself in the leg, that would absolutely jack up my cap. So that's uh, probably not the best thing to do on camera. But anyways, guys, it's that time of the video where I'm going to be shutting off cameras. Actually, I'm going to play around with this a little bit more of the axe. Um, and with that said, you get out there, stay healthy, and create or find your adventure.